because like, I don't want to make that person famous, you know, I don't want to promote um, toxic media, people who want to pollute um, my credibility in social media. I, I don't want to I don't want to promote those kind of behavior um, so I'm not gonna mention the name of the page that saying a lot of mean things about me um, like what do you mean what do you mean response like I'm being irresponsible I when I after I finished the pageant everybody who competed in the pageant we worked our hardest we sacrificed a lot during the past one month and a half for the pageant, we not only we spent time, energy, our own resources, um, our own budget. A lot of the times, you know, we we worked really hard for it, and at the end of the day, the result comes out the way it is, and I'm okay with it. I've moved on with life. Life doesn't stay in one place. Once the pageant is done, I'm obligated to do certain things that I was supposed to do. And I am within my right to reject or decline any work offers that I don't feel that I am comfortable doing. So if you want to talk about responsibility, what about my rights? Because right comes with responsibility. I'm not irresponsible, I'm not irresponsible in a sense where I decide to quit, um, I mean I decide to not accept the offer and just run off. I've communicated everything that I've done with the organizer. So it's so easy for somebody to just sit behind a phone criticizing some like other people for doing certain things when they themselves are probably just high school students. And no offense, you know, like you do you whatever you want to do, whatever feels right for you and whoever you are as a person is not relevant. But you know, I just think it's it's very manipulative, if that makes sense. Miti, Miti, Norodom, um, a lot of people. I mean, like, uh, I don't want to say people, but, but a lot of fan pages, um, you know, they, they can be really mean. Um, but you know, like I said in the beginning, it's a lot easier to be mean to people when you're just hiding behind your phone or your laptop and you don't really do anything and all you, you can do is just judging people and shaming other people or cyberbullying other people. It's a lot easier to do that when you don't really have anything else to do. You know? So, like, yeah, I, and like, I, I don't, you know, like for me, I, I like to use social media, but I my life, my my entire life is not about social media. I use it when I can, I use it when I want to, but I don't. It's not. It's not my entire life. So sometimes when I see it, I just kind of ignore it. But <clears throat> I see a lot of things. I just don't react to it because there's no point to react to it. Um, I was raised and taught to be better than that. So I'm not going to lower my standard and go after every single comments that, you know, they're not nice to me. It's, it's not worth it. Um, yeah, and, you know, I also want to take this time to educate some people in regards to body shaming. Because I know that there are people out there who have commented about my body um and this and that just basically not nice things i don't want to go into details but body shaming is something that i've seen quite um often um when it comes to mean comments about me and i want to take this opportunity to educate them just a little bit because i think maybe those people are not the, the people that decide that it's okay to body shame me, I think they're not women. I don't think they're women. Because if you're a woman, you know that your body have your body have curves. To be a woman, you have curves. You have certain parts of your body that has to be bigger than the other. That's just nature. It's a part of nature. Different 
different body has different different people has different body types different types means body structure body figures and everyone has different hormones you know like it's it's really not right to compare one person's body to the other since they're completely two different people we have different genetics we have different body types don't like don't compare me to another girls or comparing other girls to me and and shaming our bodies it's not right for women it's beautiful to have curves it is it's beautiful to be a woman with with okay if you have small waist big hips beautiful and even if you have an athletics body you're still beautiful it doesn't matter to be a woman you you need to embrace your body you need to embrace what you have you're not you're not gonna you're not gonna say okay um you should have this one specific body type and body figure you should work out more to to reach this this body target that doesn't make sense you when you work out you can only tone your body you cannot change your body type it doesn't make sense i mean if you work hard enough you gain muscles at a certain part of your body and you make your body look like a little bit bigger but it's not going to change your body type so ladies embrace yourself love your body stay healthy though like for me in my entire life i've always been very sporty i'm a very active person i played sports since i was a young girl i did soccer i did basketball i did running i did marathon and till these days even though i don't do like sport actively i'm active every day i go for a walk instead of driving i i i always move you know so the people who body shame me like what do you do <laughs> you know like what do you do to stay fit do you work out do you i i don't know i don't know why they think they are they have the right to body shame other people and it's not just me you know they've done that to a lot of other other girls too other to me it's a little bit kind of hypocritical to shame other people when first of all if you were a woman i don't think a woman would shame other women like that first of all because woman to woman we know we know that having curves is beautiful we know that our curves is what makes us a woman we're not a girl we were not a teenager we are a grown woman we're supposed to have curves and we're supposed to have certain parts of our body a little bit bigger than the other we're supposed to have different body types that's just normal but some people just don't understand that they want to set one standard for everyone to have the same body type it's unrealistic it's ignorant it doesn't make sense so yeah i just think maybe before shaming other people's body or deciding to cyber bully someone i think you should take the time to educate yourself a little bit more to understand why things are the way it is before you go out there and decide to publicly shame them